Hello, this is Jeff Bat with Kinetic Media, and welcome to part eight of jQuery Mobile and Dreamweaver. In this section, we're going to talk about panels. Now, panels are is a new feature to um, jQuery Mobile, the latest version of jQuery Mobile. Um, so, if you don't have the latest version, or if you don't know how to update to the latest version, check out section seven or part seven of this series, and that will uh, teach you how to update to the latest code. And that way you are able to uh, to get the uh, or use the features that we're going to talk about in this session. So panels are a really nice feature. Um, and you think of them very similar to uh, like the Facebook app. Whenever you swipe uh, to the side, uh, another menu will pop up or some other data will pop up. Um, so it's a very useful feature, especially when you're working with mobile because you don't have very much room to work with anyways. So when you're able to use these panels inside of for extra content, it is extremely helpful. So it's contained within a page. Now each panel has its own or it needs to be within a page. But you'll notice that it's not within the actual page content. The page content is what shows up when the learner or the uh, user comes to that screen. And so the panel will only be revealed if they click on it by a button or you can attach um, a swipe or something like that for it to reveal. So keep that in mind and then you can either have a button to close it or if they tap anywhere on, on the actual content area, then it will actually close themselves. So we're going to go ahead and dive right into this. So I'm going to just skip over to Dreamweaver here. And I already have um, a starting project. Now this project just has a simple page. It has nothing inside of the content. Uh, we're just going to start with the blank content or we're going to start with a blank content here. And so within this content, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to first of all just add um, a link, a hyperlink. Now this hyperlink is going to link to something called my panel. I haven't established what my panel is yet. We're going to go ahead and do that here in a second. But I wanted to um, initiate the open of this panel by clicking on this link. And so outside of the content area, so I'm going to go down a couple lines and I'm going to add another div tag. Now in this div tag, I'm going to go ahead and name or give this a data role, just like you were if you were going to establish this as a content or a footer or anything like that. I'm going to establish this as a panel. Now, you'll notice that Dreamweaver doesn't have any code hints for this in the current version that I'm working with right now, which is CS6. Um, it doesn't have all the code hints for the latest um, jQuery mobile, so just keep that in mind. And I'm going to give this an ID of my panel. Um, so we are linking to my panel, so we want to make sure that the ID matches up so it knows which panel to open because you can have more than one panel inside of here. So we're just going to go ahead and just establish an ID of my panel. Now optional, I can add a data theme. The data theme um, is your standard themes A, B, C, D, E, F and you can establish a data theme if you want to and that will just when the when the panel is revealed that will display what the theme looks like that is optional I'm just gonna go ahead and just do data theme equals B and then what I want to do is also how this is displayed now there's three different options of how this panel gets displayed if we go ahead and go to the documentation of dream or of jQuery mobile um, and then within the uh, documentation if we search for panels you'll notice three different examples we have an overlay which will just go over the content we have a reveal which will actually push all of the content over to the side um, but it will reveal it, uh, it looks more like a, it's revealing uh, rather than actually all of it both the panel and the content moving over at the same time and then push is where both the panel and the content seem like they're connected and they just move over together so it depends on what you want to do I'm gonna go ahead and just establish a data display so data dash display so if, you, if you're not using Dreamweaver, you can just type this in. Um, whether you're using Dreamweaver or not, it really doesn't matter with the, when you're working with the panels as far as this version goes here. So we're going to do data display equals reveal. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close out this div tag. So let me just add an ending div tag as well. 
and then you need to add some content within the panel. Now, what I'm going to do is add just a button. I'm just going to go ahead and establish an A uh, or an href button. Now, in the href, you don't really have to add anything here. Um, in the data role, you're going to establish as a establish this as a button. In the data relative, this is the key here. Because we're going to be closing something, the data rel is going to be close. And so that's all we have to type in is data-rel equals close. And then the label of the button, which in this case I'm just going to type in, I'm just going to use the uh, close me here. Now if I save this, let's go ahead and go to my browser and let's refresh here and you'll notice that we have an open me. Well, we don't see the button that says close me because that hasn't been revealed yet. In order to see that, all I have to do is click on open me. And as soon as I do that, you'll notice that it's kind of pushed off to the side. Um, it's revealed, the content is revealed, it doesn't push along with it. If I wanted to, I can switch it to push and then it would look more like that. Or it doesn't overlay, it doesn't go over top of any content, it reveals the content as though it was sitting below it and it just kind of reveals it. Well, I can come back in here and I can say, well, maybe I do want to try the push. And so I'm going to just do push, hit display or hit save, and then go ahead and hit open. And you can see that it kind of pushes off to the side. Now I can add more content. I'm going to change this back to reveal. And I'm, I can go ahead and add more content. So if I just want to add like a regular paragraph. hit save and then refresh here, you'll notice that there's some text right below it. So I can add an unordered list if I want to have more of like a menu that uh, you click on and it reveals the menu. If you wanted to add the button <clears throat> within the header tag, you can do that as well. And if you do that, it acts more like you see in the documentation here. Or if you click on this menu button, you can see that it reveals more content on the left hand side. So there's a lot of different options to choose from, but it is very useful, especially when you're working with uh, mobile devices, especially phones, to uh, be able to still use all that content but make it more optional uh, content as well. There's a couple other things that you can do within here that I want to go over. And one of the things is you can, you can switch the position of the data. If you wanted to, you can add, let me go ahead and just within the data tag or the uh, panel tag, I can go ahead and add a data dash position and I can change this to right. If I do that and come back over and preview this, you'll notice that the reveal is actually on the right hand side. The content is on the right. So you can choose between left and right. It's up to you whether you want it to display left or right. Um, or you can actually have two different panels. So if I go ahead and let me just copy that div tag. I'm going to come down to here and I'm going to get rid of the data position. I can add left here or if I just get rid of it, the default is left. And I'm going to uh, change the my panel to my panel two because we can't have two panels with the same name. I'm going to go ahead and copy the link within the content area and I'm going to paste that and just add a link to open me two, and that will open instead of my panel that's going to open my panel two. Now if I hit save, hit refresh here, um, actually should have added that within the paragraph tag. So let's go ahead and add that a paragraph tag here on the uh, front and then the back. Do the same thing with the next button and then close that paragraph tag out. So let's go ahead and refresh it. There we go. We have our two links. So if I click on the first link, it's going to open up. I can close that. If I click on the second link, it's going to open up. And this can be different content. So I can go ahead and say this is some text 2. This is some text 1 and hit refresh. So it opens up. Here's this is some text uh, 1 and then this is some text 2. So you can have two different panels and this works well inside of a mobile device. So let's go ahead and uh, pull open the simulator and I'm going to grab the uh, Safari. I'm just going to open up Safari here. And I actually already have it pulled up, but if you don't have it pulled up, you can just open up a Finder window or open up a, a window inside of uh, Windows itself, and then just go ahead and drag in the index button inside the Finder window. I'm going to, go ahead, I'm going to close that and then hit uh, Open Me 1. And you'll notice that it reveals on the side here, and then Open Me 2 reveals on the right hand side. 
So it works perfectly on side, inside of uh, both iOS and Android. All right, something else that you can do is you can actually establish a swipe. Now the swipe allows you to um, add a, a swipe event to the document or just to the regular document, meaning the entire index. And so it listens for a swipe. You can either be swipe left or swipe right. And then you can open up the panel based on that swipe. So the way that you have to do this is actually within your script. And so I'm just going to copy the content already. I'm going to come up to the rest of my scripts here. And I'm going to add uh, this short JavaScript. Now within the JavaScript, this is jQuery that I'm using. So within the JavaScript, I'm going to be adding um, an event to the document. So just basically anywhere that they swipe. And I'm going to establish that on and the, the on event is going to be swipe left. So when there's a swipe left, we're going to run a function. So comma function, and then it's going to be an event comma UI. So this is going to be a user interface um, events. And then inside of there, I have one line of code. And that one of line, one line of code, we have our dollar sign. And then uh, within quotes, we establish what panel we're going to be going to. And you do that with um, a pound sign, and then the name of the panel, which in this case, let's say we want to open up panel two. Uh, if your panels are named differently, you can change that. But then we're going to say dot panel and then within quotes and parentheses here we're going to do open so we're going to open this as soon as there is a swipe left now this could also be swipe right if you want as well but let's go ahead and come back into our browser refresh it and then we're going to swipe left you see as soon as i swipe left i didn't click on the button but as soon as i swiped left it revealed panel two uh, let's say I want to go ahead and just add another. I'm going to copy that, come down a little bit, and instead of swipe left, let's go ahead and swipe right. And you can see if I refresh this, I swipe right. It's actually opening panel two as well. I forgot to change the panel two to panel, just my panel. Hit refresh, and if I swipe right, it's going to open up panel one. If I swipe left, it's going to open up panel two which is great for if you're going if you're on a mobile device let me refresh this you can see that if I'm on a mobile device with my thumb I can just go ahead and swipe uh, reveal the panel swipe to the other side reveal the other panel and so you get more of the gesture control over which is makes it a whole lot easier a whole lot nicer to uh, especially when you're working with mobile devices so they don't have to use their but their uh, thumb to go ahead and tap on a button that may be on the other side of the screen or something Okay, a couple other options is the data, data animates. So if I come into the content area uh, or the panel area, if I don't want it to animate reveal, if I just want it to pop up, then I can just add a data dash animate equals quotes false. If I do that, let's go ahead and uh, refresh this and click on open me. You'll notice that it didn't animate open. It just automatically jumped open. And so that's what the data dash animate equals false uh, does and I like how it animates so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it like that but if you for some reason don't want it to animate you just want it to open you can do that as well <clears throat> now another option is the content let's go ahead and I'm just gonna pull up a lorem ipsum text and I within the lorem ipsum text I'm just gonna grab a bunch of text here and within my page content so I'm gonna come up to my page content and I'm going to add a paragraph tag and within the paragraph tag, I'm just going to paste a bunch of this lorem ipsum text. If I come in here, and let me close that out now, and I refresh, you'll notice I have a lot of text here. If I open that up, a lot of the text, if I'm looking at a panel here that may be like some hint or something like that, the, all the most of the text has been just kind of shoved off the screen, especially if you're on a mobile device. Let's just go ahead here and open this up. You'll notice that pretty much I can't see anything. Um, now, the nice one nice thing that you can add to the page is you can actually add, um, with a phone it won't make much of a difference, but with the uh, a tablet it's going to make a lot more difference. You can add a class. Now the class that you can add is actually UI-responsive and then you have to add a dash panel, which there's no code hidden for this because 
Dreamweaver hasn't updated its code hints. But if you do UI-responsive-panel, it's actually going to automatically become responsive in the text. And so if I go ahead and just save that, and let me swipe to the left here, you'll notice that the text automatically adjusted. So if I come again, um, if I go back and I close that, it's going to automatically adjust again, swipe again, it's going to adjust and so I can still see some of it. Uh, again, that's more helpful if you're on a tablet because if you're on a mobile device or a phone, um, although it's you may still have that, you'll notice that it doesn't really adjust when it's on a small screen. And so, but on a on a tablet, it's going to work out perfectly there, so they can still see the content as they're looking at the panel as well. All right, well that's how you use the new panels inside of jQuery Mobile and Dreamweaver, um, and how you take advantage of that and some of the options that are available. And if you want to see more content like this, if you want to see more videos, go ahead and check out kinetic-media.com and you can look at uh, some of the tutorials, some of the uh, downloads that you can do as well, some of the follow-alongs, assessments, and everything. Uh, go ahead and check that out at kinetic-media.com.